All right, so here I am back. So I've determined that I can reverse the windings and I don't know if that's happening that's going to be happening with this compressor but this compressor will not start this is a GE monitor top so I've rewired it with a three wire uh, cord because all the wires were brittle and then so this one here is common so on the diagram on the three in one it says to hook up common this is the common one it's a black one here and then this is the start one is the white one and I have that wired the same color so it's easier to see and then the red is going to be the green wire here okay and then just hook this guy up here, and then this is going to show my amp draw here. We're going to see what the amp draw is. Turn the thermostat on and we'll see what the amp draw is. 11 amps. Eleven amps and it will not start. So I'm gonna try to do what I did with the other compressor. Reverse. We're going to reverse run and start. See if it's kind of like in my mind, I'm just trying to see if I'm jarring it out of. Because if not, if I can't get this guy going without doing this, then I'm going to recover the methyl formate, which is like a, it's a toxic like gas. I'm going to recover it and I'm actually going to try to free up the compressor by um, drilling a hole in the top of it after I get it recovered, pressurizing it with nitrogen, drilling a hole in the top of it and then using like something to get the motor freed up so we can try to keep this running here. Anyway, so I reverse the windings. And I'm gonna give it another try here. Let's plug it in. Seven amps. I was drawing seven amps. But no noise. Try again. Thermostat on. Eleven amps. Hope. Oh. Next thing I'm going to try to do is apply two twenty to it. See if that'll work. <laughs> 